Howdy y'all, it's Russell back with Gwinnett Lawns and beautiful. And here comes the rain, Atlanta, Georgia. Today is, what is it, September the 30th, 2022. And on today's video, I'm going to, <clears throat> excuse my voice, from the dust yesterday. Um, <clears throat> on today's video, I'm going to do an update to how far the Bermuda grass has spread. So before I show you, uh, the video that I made, I believe it was on April the 20th of this year. Notice I still have the, wore the same shirt to keep it consistent. I'm very, very pleased with how far the Bermuda went this year. So April, well, May, June, and July, I was basically watering the grass every day that it didn't rain. August and September, mm, not so much. I got so busy that, to be quite honest, I didn't even think about it. So, so whatever rain we got over those, especially September's been really dry. Um, but anyway, let's go and take a look at what we've got. Now, if you remember in the original video, uh, this area right here pretty much has not changed. This dirt is hard as a rock. Um, you can see the stolons trying to creep over, but uh, I did till this up, I don't know, eight months ago, nine months ago. Uh, I probably need to put some topsoil in there. I know a lot of people are commenting about this, this um, cherry laurel right here. So the way that the sun works here, it uh, rises there, that's the east, and it moves this way. And then it goes over there. So this pretty much is in full sun all day, which is part of the problem uh, because it's so, it's just, it gets so hard. It's just this clay. But if you can look over here, <clears throat> we have just a tiny, tiny little bit right here. Um, it's actually the, um, what do you call this? The erosion control is actually uh, underneath this, so I need to pull this up. But I think there was, uh, if you go back and look at the video, you can see the different sections of the fence. Um, pretty much all this up here has filled in with just the bare exceptions of where the um, erosion control is underneath. And it's still kind of creeped up, but I'm very, very happy with uh, with how this worked. So the only thing that I did was I would water it. Um, I've got a really good Melnor um, fan sprinkler. So I would put it here as far as the hose would reach. And then I would move it over here. And so the benefit and the bonus to that was this grass over here just got, oh my goodness, it is so thick. It's crazy. I mean, you can't even, it's just really dense. And I cut this at two inches. Now, the other bonus is that the grass, I didn't really show this, I don't think, last time, but probably all the way out here, you can see the runners. And this is pretty hard, and, and this is, uh, the problem with this, this only gets the morning sun, because as the sun moves this way, this is in shade. So this is never going to be really thick, but... I will probably this winter. I trimmed my Leland Cypress. I got to get rid of these limbs uh, on the other side of the house, but I'm going to trim this back anyway. But yes, um, very, very pleased. So, those of you that are in Georgia, um, I had some people comment that it wouldn't, it wouldn't creep up at all. Um, what I want to do is get this to fill in and let me just show you how hard this is I mean this is just straight up clay so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Maya's trying to get something I'm gonna till this up again and put topsoil in here just to keep it a little uh, make this soil a little softer and I think 
that uh, I'm going to put some topsoil because there's a few places here. I had privet hedge, privet that was all right here, and it took me six months to get rid of it. It was like 15 feet tall, and it's very, very rough here. So I think what I'm going to do is get topsoil and try to smooth this out some. Uh, and definitely take care of that because I would like the grass to grow all the way up there but I am going to probably go ahead and take this up I know I said I would take it up before but uh, I just hadn't had any time hadn't thought about it but yep very pleased with how the grass has progressed so uh, guys especially if you're uh, if you've got Georgia clay you want to give me some ideas I think I think just tilling up uh, this again, busting this up down to maybe four or five inches and mixing topsoil in with it um, will be enough to allow the uh, runners to go and I can of course go and uh, do my watering again next year. But yeah, it's the temperatures are dropping. We haven't had much rain. We're supposed to get rain this weekend from the hurricane. Um, as you can see the yard it's it's starting to go dormant because because uh, we hadn't had any water but you can see kind of the green area this is where the sprinkler reached so that grass is a little bit more moist but I uh, I should have done a video on this the Leland Cypress I think I'm gonna maybe take the limbs up just a little longer but you couldn't even, I did that because the dog kept trying to get wildlife that would run in there. Um, yeah, this is about, probably about 15 years old. It's huge. I like, I like Leland cypresses, but you got to keep them, you got to keep them limbed up or they just get, the limbs actually start growing into the ground. So anyway, for, the, for those of you that guessed correctly, I think some of you said by the end of the summer, it's technically summer's over. Um, we got a couple days and then it's gonna be October. And as soon as the, the temperatures have been in the 50s, the low 50s at night, that's no good for Bermuda. As soon as it starts dipping in the 40s, uh, this entire lawn will, will get tiger stripes in it and then I'll come out one morning and it'll just be complete. It'll look like Manila. So that's the way Bermuda does. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for those that you guessed right. But please leave down in the comments if you have a suggestion for me to get the rest of that. Obviously, it's not going to grow this year. But what do I need to do between now and springtime? Should I go ahead and till it up a little bit, put topsoil in there? Leave your, uh, leave your opinions down in the comments. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you guys on the next video. Maya, what do you got to say about yourself? Good girl. What? What?